From cargo transportation to the use of marine resources, every day we rely on the world's oceans. The United Kingdom Hydrographic Office provides global marine information to help better understand our oceans, supporting maritime decision-making within the UK government, defence, commercial shipping and further afield. We sent Nick Thatcher to find out more about the UK HO's work. The United Kingdom Hydrographic Office is the UK government's lead for hydrography and marine geospatial information. We have two core public tasks. The first of those is to support defence and the Royal Navy. And the second task is to help the merchant mariner and any mariner that's operating to ensure that the data that they have is up to date, accurate and most important, available when they need it. And it's survey ships like this one that collect the data, which is then analysed and verified by the United Kingdom Hydrographic Office. So it's down the water line. Here in the waters of the Solent, it was the task of the smaller ship in the Royal Navy to help prepare for the arrival of the largest. Bathymetric data about the depth of the water here and the nature of the seabed was crucial to ensure safe passage into Portsmouth for Britain's newest aircraft carrier, HMS Queen Elizabeth. And to get in and out, we basically run on a transit of these marks. The UKHO processes and supplies a wide range of location-based information to provide a comprehensive and accurate understanding of the marine environment. This allows critical decisions to be made with confidence. It's not just what we get in an electronic chart. So we get tidal information, we get information about ports that, that we, we might, may wish to visit. Um, we also get environmental information. And, and all of that put together is just vital to the role that we have to do out there so that you can be 100% sure that what's there on the chart relates to what you're looking at out of the window. The work of the UKHO reaches far beyond just the UK. It partners with other hydrographic offices and organisations worldwide and is the primary charting authority for 71 nations. We have a responsibility in UKHO to not only our Crown dependencies and overseas territories, but many nations where historically we have a relationship to enable them to meet their safety of life at sea commitments. And we do that by going out and charting their waters and also by helping them build their capacity so that they can undertake those roles themselves into the future building the knowledge of their marine environment, identifying potential for them to utilise that marine environment to help them build their economies. In places like St Vincent and the Grenadines, it's hoped this data and specialist knowledge will bring sustainable environmental and economic benefits to the island chain. The data that we collect will be used to consider the impact of climate change and inform our decision making on aspects such as coastal resilience, seabed habitat maps and other environmental factors in the area. This should enable larger ships to transit the region safely and that will in turn support trade and tourism in the area. In the wake of the hurricanes that hit the Caribbean, UKHO supported relief efforts by compiling survey data and satellite imagery to assess the damage caused. 24 hours after Hurricane Irma, they issued emergency navigational charts to the British Virgin Islands, enabling ships bringing in aid and medical supplies. For the future, this information will continue to support the recovery of the marine environment and marine economy in British overseas territories. And the UKHO's repository of data has the potential to be used for a much wider range of applications, from subsea energy to the development of infrastructure. The phrase that's used in, in our space is the blue economy. And really, if you think about it, what does that mean? Well, actually, good information, good marine information, supports trade, tourism, civil defence, managing the marine environment, all of those different things require good information in order to be able to do them. And of course, we're the people that can provide that information. And to make sure the UKHO can continue to provide leading global marine information, it's investing in technology, staff and facilities at its office in Taunton, Somerset. Well, we're investing a huge amount. We're investing in a new data platform. We're investing in new skills, data science, software development, and really creating a world-class capability. The United Kingdom Hydrographic Office has a proud tradition of providing navigational expertise and supporting safety at sea. By combining 200 years of heritage with new data capabilities, the UKHO continues to chart the future with a spirit of innovation.